In this video, I'd like to really quickly show how you can create your own Technic Mod Pack. I've had someone ask me this question. Here, I'll show very quickly what you need to do. First off, you need to go to technicpack.net and create your own user. You can register here. After you've done that, you can download, and install, and run the Technic Launcher. When it does, it'll bring up this user interface. When it does that, you need to go to Mod Packs. And the best thing to do right here is just look for a Minecraft Forge version, whether it be 1.7.2 or 1.8.9. Just type it in whichever one you're looking for. In this one, I assume that we have done the 1.7.10 Forge. So after you download it, you then want to go to your folder directory where you just downloaded that mod pack. And right here, I've opened it up. And all you really want from this is your bin, your cache, your config, and your core mods. And if you want, you can have resource packs and shaders as part of that. So after you get all those together, you want to zip them to a file so they look like this. You can see right here, these are the only ones that are required, but you can have these as well. So after you've created that, you can add different mods you want, if, if you want to, into that. This one I've only added Biomass of Plenty, but you can list your other mods here. You can put a resource pack in here. However, if you do add a resource pack to your Technic Pack and you did not create it yourself, you have to give credit to the creator in the description of your Technic Pack. And you can also, you know, same for the shaders as well. So as soon as you get those together, send to press zip folder. Mine failed this one time, but when you do it, you know, when you, when you compress or make it a zip file, yours won't fail, I'm pretty sure. It creates this zip file, and you can rename it to um, whatever you want. There's your mod pack. Now after you've done that, we want to upload that mod pack to your Dropbox. So create your own Dropbox user if you haven't. Up here you can see some of my different uh, files uplo I've uploaded to Dropbox. So suppose this was a mod pack. Once you upload it, click Share, Copy Link, Control C. I'm just going to remember that that's the mod pack link that we need to our Dropbox that you just uploaded. Now, you go to your Technic web page that you've just created, and you're going to create a mod pack. And here you can name it whatever the heck you want, whatever version you're doing. This one you can see is 1.7.10. You can hide it and you give it a short description. I agree, create mod pack. Now we've created it, but it will not show until it's properly configured. So we're going to edit the mod pack that you just created. Now here's where you add the mod pack location. So that link that we just got, you're going to paste it, but this you have to remember, it will not work unless you change the 0 to a 1. Be sure to change that 0 to a 1. After that's done, you can add all this other information you want. Most of it isn't required, it's all whatever you want. So after you've done that, then you can come back here and you can do a search for that mod pack. Suppose the one I just created was my mod pack. Then you would just click on that and you'd install it and you'd play it. And then you'd have your Technic pack. That's all there really is to it. I mean, after this point, you can go through and update and add different mods and then, you know, you'd have to reload it or re-upload it to your Dropbox and then change the link to it again to your new mod pack location. But that's basically how you would do it. Hope that helps. If, none of the, if some of this didn't make sense or you have more questions, you can uh, reply to me in the comments. Thanks.